What's going on guys? Welcome to another one of Black Irons Battles. I'm sorry I haven't been around that much lately. We've got a lot of stuff going on in my family, but we're back again today with you for you guys. And uh, we're we're doing some uh, Total War Warhammer 2 Dwarf versus Skaven action. So we're here on uh, quick battles doing some ladder matches. We are facing off against the Skaven and I have brought the Dwarf. So let's go ahead and pause it just for a second and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've brought. So we went ahead and just went really cheap on the Lord. We've got Ungrim over here and you can see here he's actually got the Axe of Dargo. So we've got that bonus versus large. We've also got Foe Seeker and that's it. So um, he's still unbreakable but with this big bonus versus large, I mean 32, he's already got um, 70 melee attack. So that means he's, I mean, he can pretty much, you know, kill anything large. And against the Skaven, there's always going to be some Hell Pit Abomination, maybe some uh, Plague Priest on a Plague Furnace, or just something, you know, some, some good stuff to do damage to. So we've also got two groups of Dwarf Warriors just there to flesh out the edges. Here in the front, we've got four groups of Longbeards. We do have the Grumbling Guard right there in the middle. And we don't have any Chevrons this time around. I was going for max numbers, but we do have the Iron Breakers over here on the left. And we've got some Nor Grimlings Iron Breakers over here on the right so against the skaven it's always good to have those iron breakers with their um you know fiery blasting attacks ah fiery blasting attacks and uh they're coming from here fiery blasting attacks and because they'll, they'll do massive damage to light armor here in the back we do have just two groups of regular slayers um just for their also for their you know their good attack damage they've got that anti-large so anything you know of course doom wheels are are a terror for the uh for the dawi folks so um, we've got those slayers to kind of deal with that. We've also got the cannon here. And like I said, no chevron. So we got as much as we could. Um, those two groups of thunders. And so we do have 859 troops uh, along with some pretty, you know, high quality uh, units over here. Now over here for my opponent, you see he's all bunched up over here. But he does have some death runners who um, with that nasty melee attack, I mean, that they do that minus... 50% uh, armor, so that'll be huge against something like Iron Breakers or Nor, Nor Grimlings. We've also got some Storm Vermin over here, mixed in with Skaven, Skaven Slaves and Plague Monks. So he's just got just a full gamut of, uh, of Skaven troops. He's also got on the flanks two groups of Rat Ogres. Here in the front, he's got a Plague Priest right there. He's also got um, Queek Head Taker, who you don't see as that often. You can see there with that. <laughs> I love the skeleton there on his back. Um, you see Queek here, he does have that Warp Shard armor to reduce the armor by 18. Um, I love that Warp Shard armor. I always bring it when I bring Queek. That's like one of the key reasons to have him. He's pretty good at a Death Star. Um, you see he's also got trophy heads and stand your ground. So he's ready to hunt with Queek. Um, he's going to be using this uh, Plague Priest to support the uh, mainline engagement to... Uh, do some summoning and then he'll also have these play clock catapults in the back here which are not my favorite in the matchup um, although they can do some pretty good damage and we'll go ahead and you'll see them just slapping right there um, right into the front line of those long beards um, it'll do pretty I mean they'll, they'll do okay so you'll see them they'll probably be shooting the whole match I mean we're gonna go ahead and you see my cannon crew we're starting to move them up a little bit um, but <laughs> that is not what I want to do so you see here we're already gonna start to aim and we're going to take some shots. You can see there's going to be some cannonballs coming right in to take, hit this catapult crew. You see there they are knocking, killing a couple of rats, doing a good amount of damage. Um, but at the same time, you know, he has done some good damage in return. The balance of power is dead even and we're just going to go ahead and get this started. Um, you can see here we're starting to advance. We're moving these units forward. We'll get in here. Um, the grumbling guard, those long beards. Oh man, look at them. And they're going to be charging in and we're going to get a full a full full advance over here on the left you'll see there we go and uh they're going to go ahead and those dwarf warriors will get racked by those rat ogres but at the same time we are going to go ahead and turn look at the hits that have come in on the group of thunderers though from those uh from those plague clock catapults but um i believe one of those already popped the plague clock catapult got hit pretty hard and we are taking some good shots here at those uh those rat ogres here in the front look at there we go we've got some of those blasting charges coming in let's go ahead and slow it down just for a second so i can show you guys we do have a group of uh rat ogres which are over here on a mission we've got one group um you know the plague clock catapults are doing really good damage they're on top of those thunders here in the front you can see some of those blasting charges coming you can see them just flying oh man look at those rats and they're just getting cleaved flying attacks from the glumbing guard so more satchels coming in and they're those those uh plague monks are so lightly armored that these satchel charges are going to decimate all of these frontline units here in the middle you can see there the ungram um and those long beards i mean they've got their their um 
you know, leadership reduced. They've got their armor reduced. Uh, but they're still going to be okay. They're going to be in there fighting. Go, go ahead and try to kill that warlock engineer. You can see Queek's in here. And uh, over here on this left flank, those longbeards are actually down to half health. We do have these ironbreakers in the back, which are on a mission. And I sent the ironbreakers. I was going to bring them into the back. I was going to bring them into the back and throw... Um, right into here with those uh you know satchel charges but for some reason i send them on a secret dwarf mission stubby legs they gotta run and they're on their way to go ahead and uh, take out both of those catapults so for some reason i think those catapults are key um and so we're gonna go ahead and just start trying to take them out you see the catapults are coming in here at these norgrim and iron breakers we're still tossing satchel charges now that all of these plague monks are gone um they're just gonna keep moving up and shooting more guys in here in the back, you can see the Rat Ogres have uh, taken a good amount of damage, but they're starting to get around. Here you can see there's a group of clan rats have been summoned. They're going to get right into these Thunders, but right behind them are the group of Slayers, which are going to come in, and they're going to cut those clan rats to pieces. Every single axe swing will kill a clan rat. They're already broken, and these Thunders are get right back to firing. Here in the back, pretty much the cannon crew is going to be dead. Um, obviously, these Rat Ogres are, are more than a match for a cannon crew. Um, so at the same time, we're going to go ahead and just try to do whatever we can to get these guys back online as soon as possible. See here in the back, there is a ton of dwarf warriors and slayers just mobbing around. Um, they're going to go ahead and try to intercept these rat ogres, I believe, or we're going to go ahead and try to get up here in the front line. So all this frontline engagement is still okay. The Longbeards and Slayers are mixed in here. Um, they're fighting against Skaven Slaves and Plague Monks, so I mean they will win in a long engagement. Um, here this group of Plague Monks is almost down, but we've taken some beatings on Ungrim. Um, Ungrim here you see up against Queeg. Uh, oh man, look at all of those catapult hints coming in. But Ungrim's doing alright. So um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and have to retreat Ungrim into the back. You see, we don't want him engaged in this front line anymore. And we're going to go ahead and just try to keep these rat ogres alive. You can see we've got this group of thunderers on melee mode right now. While we go ahead and charge all of these dwarf warriors, we're taking shots with this group of thunderers here in the back at this group of rat ogres. And they're engaged with those slayers. Those rat ogres will die very, very quickly. Um, those large rat ogres, especially with this group of thunderers taking shots in there at them. You can see there, they're almost down to half health already. This group is routed off and those rat ogres are being smashed um here in the back we're having some trouble you can see these iron breakers tons of summons coming in you can see their clan rats are going off another group coming in and uh we are engaged up against this plague priest and they're not completing their mission these uh these catapults have been firing the whole game see there are 36 dead dwarves 28 there that's a grudging man we do not want those guys shooting these iron breakers have to do their job but they are uh, my opponent here the skaven player is doing a great great job of keeping them uh, locked up for this whole match so far over here on the left flank though you see the gremlin guard even though they do have withered on they're down to 20 armor at this point against these death runners um, so they are dying, but at the same time, they are killing as well. Um, these death ones, as you can see, their numbers are dropping. 19 remaining. Um, they've only got about 500 health, so the Gremlin Guard will prevail. You can see here Dwarf Warriors mixed in with Longbeards up against these Storm Vermin who are going down as well. And here in the back, oh my god, Ungrim is down to 138 against Queek. You can see, let's go ahead and get in here. You can see it is just the battle of the ages. Ungrim versus Queek, and Queek is victorious you can see there he checks make sure ungram is fully dead and that is it ungram is dead but at this point it is neck and neck and we are sending a bunch more units the longbeards go in there to uh go ahead and see if they can't uh, avenge their their slayer king and uh here in the back we see we've got some thunders engaged up against this warlock engineer but we do have this group of thunders which is fully open and we need to get them shooting immediately because those guys are going to be so important we've got the cannon back online here in the back and we've got a pretty good um and you know set of dwarves here in the middle and you can see there that big cannon shot coming in i'm trying to knock that plague priest off you see this group of clan rats and these iron breakers while they've only got 36 kills they've just gotten destroyed by this plague priest so either way they've managed to finally route off the second group of clan rats i'm sure another one is starting to come in we weren't able to hold out i mean they're almost out of ammo on those plague clock catapults and it is neck and neck at this point you see here we do have the cannon back online we're going to start him shooting at those plague clock catapults again see if we can't do some good damage um, we're going to see, I think we're actually maybe going to take a shot over there at those Plague Monks. Um, see if we can't route them back off the field. Here you go. You can see these Slayers in here. Engage against Rat Ogres. Engage against Queek. Um, but those Slayers are unbreakable. And they will do some good damage. 
Um, you see, actually, those rat ogres are going to, you know, break off. Some skating slaves aren't going to do anything. And Queek is going to start taking some good damage as well. But little by little, he is going to slowly get pulled down by these Do these uh, Dawi brethren. Here in the back, you can see the Gremlin Guard have started to advance. And when they get engaged over here, there's going to be some trouble. You can see this group of Plague Monks is almost gone. 600 remaining. They're, they're exhausted, wavering. And uh, they're immediately broken by the Iron Breakers, who are now finally engaged against this Plague Claw Catapult. They're going to finish them off. You see this group of Gremlin Guard will finish off this Catapult. And we are trying for just whatever kills we can get at this point. Um, the balance of power is getting a little bit more in our favor. You can see here in the back that Queek is uh, down pretty heavily. You can see he's 258. He's going to be broken. We're taking shot, pot shot. We were taking pot shots to deal with the cannon. Um, we've actually, uh, there we go. You can see it's going to try ahead and see if we can uh, get one last kill on him. I'm um, going to finish it off, but most of the Skaven troops there are routing off. And, uh, you know, I like I said, guys, I haven't been around as much, and I apologize, but I thank you guys for sticking with me. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, I love the Dwarves and the Greenskins, where they're both at right now. Um, I would love it if the Dwarven Thane had a little bit better, uh, you know, um, <laughs> item selection, or if the Greenskins, um, if Grimgor was a little bit more... Um, you know more powerful I guess but um, you know right where I am I'm thinking I'm thinking that my favorite races are right now the uh, dwarves and the greenskins of course are in a great place so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one you saw there just like massive amounts of Skaven being blown to bits um, the plague clock catapults firing the whole time um, not able to do as much as you would think. Let's take a look at the post-game wrap-up. I think if those were Doom Wheels, they would have been a lot better off. But, I mean, they did get 140, 150 kills between them. Um, it is something, you know. Uh, over here, you can see the Grumbling Guard just champions. 150 kills. They were able to get in there, um, chopping units to pieces. They kept that vigor up. And the Longbeards were able to keep the Encourage going. Once Ungrim went down, um, Ungrim was able to do his job. He was able to fight there. Um, you know, we got some good shots off with the cannon before the Rat Ogres got in. And my opponent, the Omega Troll, just did really well. Um, luckily for me, I did go wide enough. We did have these Dwarf Warriors. It was hard for these units to cut through the Longbeards and through the Slayers even. I mean, you know, 150 kills on Slayers. Um, 118 with these Nord Grimlings who you saw them just tossing those Satchel Charges. They were able just to decimate one side of the line pretty easily. You saw these Thunderers actually picked up um you know picked up some chevrons so they did massive amounts of damage to the rat ogres they did good damage to some um heroes at different points we were getting shots in on the plague priest but that was the uh, the skaven was able to keep those those heroes alive a long time if you guys saw so he kept queek alive to the very end um same with that warlock engineer and the plague priest so all those summons um they don't show up here but there was a ton of summons um, they were, you know, he was helping disrupt. Um, he did do pretty good, you know, Rat Ogres. Look at that, 40 kills on that group, 21 over here. Um, but, you know, I think he just didn't have the staying power. Um, with these these Plague Monks and Skaven Slaves here, he just, only one group of Storm Vermin was not quite enough to uh, get through the, the armor of the Dwarves there. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I want to thank my opponent, the Omega Troll. Um, great game, buddy. Hopefully, I'll see you again on ladder. Um, please click click uh, like if you uh, like the video. If you you know want to subscribe or, or click the notification icon to see the the videos I'm putting out. You guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is Black Iron, and this has been another one of Black Iron's battles.